You're late. Staric is making his move. The piece of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you call father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right. He never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother, of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. The nerve of Evie. Treating me like a child. Tonight, they must have taken the invitations with them.
You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now? I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. private party event. Don't mind if I do. private party event. Don't mind if I do. Supporting me and the party. Do not the the and I ought to be the fight. one to throw him in. What, oh. what a mess. We need more moralizing in modern politics. Indeed, we You do. won't be laughing when you do the hangman's dance, though. Blimey! Is this what we've come to? Thank you. 
If I were ten years younger, I'd teach them a thing Wherever or two I would. Find you, eh? Some manners for a start. You trying to start something? <laughs> Someone must have fled Lambeth Asylum. Where's she? An interesting choice of location. Indeed, it is. We have an intruder! There! It is my honor to represent him in time. He's not supposed to be here! No one's gonna give a damn if you disappear. I hope you enjoy hard beds and cold cells. You will pay very dear. Keep your for eyes this. peeled for any entrance. What in the world is he doing? Mr. Gladstone must be shielded at all costs. Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been, but still... Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. Now is my chance. One should not attend the Queen's Ball without making a proper entrance.
Now for the invitations. What's this? The swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. Thank you. 